So I've been wanting to make this video for quite a while now. This is my fifth sketchbook, which I have finished. I started it in January and I finished it in September. This has got to be my favorite sketchbook because I really, really got to experiment with it. And as you can see, I wasn't afraid to warp the paper or anything um, when I got like halfway through it. This is a monologue sketchbook, which I got in a bookstore in Malaysia. I should have bought like five of these because they were really, really cheap and they hold watercolor fairly well. <laughs> Here we have the actual print cover, which literally just popped off as you can see it's got like the same designs and everything it was absolutely heartbreaking <laughs> here it is it warped the page so badly i couldn't even draw on it i was planning to draw cassandra this is my character cassandra and then i was experimenting with ivera as well and like a very astrological kind of background kind of like this but um i ended up doing this instead so this is the first page. I started it on the 8th of January. Okay, hello. <laughs> <laughs> this is my main character of the novel that I'm writing, her mother. And then this is her mother's mother. And I remember drawing this and absolutely falling in love with the dynamic between these two. And I ended up uh, like trying to continue the draft which I had written like 10,000 words for. So here we have um, my main characters from her father's side. Great, 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 great grandmother, which I draw her and this is her best friend. I draw them a lot. There are so many characters, so just don't worry if you can't keep up with any of them. <laughs> this is Harian and this is Sansa or Sayara. Um, next we have like this tree. I really really wanted to try experimenting with backgrounds in this book which I didn't quite get to do the way I liked. I don't think I improved that much but um, it was there was an attempt and this is Anarion which is Sansa's brother, her older brother. It was like a little comic I guess. And here we have the swatch page with all of the art supplies that I had. This is me um, coloring with drawing, I mean, color pencils the first time. This is Ivera, by the way, which is um, her daughter. This is her when she's young. <laughs> and here we have Ivera and her twin sister. Ivera is the main character again. And then this is Cassandra, which is Ivera's friend, enemy friend of me <laughs> and a random random eye that I tried drawing and I put clear sticky notes over it so it doesn't smudge into the next page and this page I just went crazy with it I really really love this page I drew a whole lot of different ethnicities a whole lot of different poses as you can see I tried drawing myself here but it doesn't quite look like me I add elf ears to literally everything I noticed even when I don't mean to because I'm so used to drawing Alphias. It's crazy. And then this is The Witches by Roald Dahl. This is Cassandra and her iconic eyeliner, which I did in pen, which I'm very, very happy with. And this is sort of a moody little pose. And this is a pose I saw on Pinterest. And then um, I was getting to the end of my book and I needed to like draw her outfit. I was planning the book, the novel, and this is me visualizing um, the main character, Ivera, her final outfit, which I think is just gorgeous. And then this is Cassandra and Yashaya, who's another main character. And then this is Sigara, which is Ivera's mom. This is her when she's young. And this is her when she's pregnant with the twins. We're pregnant with the twins. And then this is Harian. Harian and Anarion. 
which I did in watercolor and this is the first time I experimented with watercolor in this sketchbook and it held up really really well you can see okay you can't see <laughs> but it doesn't bleed through the page as much as I thought it would and then this was when I was experimenting a little bit more this is just another character his name is Ira I don't draw him a lot this is Anarion again this is Kate and Ivera <laughs> And this is Ivera in her final outfit. Where is it? I drew her in the actual outfit here. Except I left out the jewelry apparently. And I made some adaptations. This is Cassandra. And Cassandra looking at Ivera's mark on her wrist. And then this is another character, Zara, who is Cade, sister. And then this is Ivera. I have finished chapter 5 of the novel. So I drew her in chapter 1 plus chapter 5. And then this is Cassie, Cassandra. And then these are the bad guys I was going to draw. They're not really bad guys, but they're the antagonists of the novel. Didn't get to finish it. <laughs> Here they are in detail. I actually drew these pages first, and then I was going to draw them all together, but I didn't end up doing that. So this is Jaren, this is Val, and this is Latea and Kazia. I drew Kazia and Jaren um, using this sketch. I drew them together digitally. I'm not sure if I'll be done with that by the time I post this video, but this is Ivera's parents, Sigara and Riwal. Um, I was going to add characters in this page, but I just absolutely loved how it turned out. Just like that, it looks like, you know, magical doors. It, originally, it looked a bit better without these stars, but you know, this sketchbook is for experimenting and I'm not going to get it right in the sketchbook. This is Kate. This is Sansa and her general, Guts. And this is Cassie and Yashaya. The novel is high fantasy. Someone asked me on Instagram to draw them in a modern AU on one of my question stickers. I love this page. She's usually drawn in her blue and black hair, but here... I just wanted to incorporate the purple. Oh, this page, okay. I just went absolutely mad. I really like this. This is probably the only element of the page that I really like, but I was just experimenting while listening to an audiobook. <laughs> this is how it came out. This is supposed to be Janara and Ivera, the twins. This is a poem from the book. Usually when I write a book, I have like a short paragraph or a poem or something that really encompasses the entire story as a whole. It helps me navigate what the story is actually about underneath the plot and the characters. And, and this is me drawing myself. This is color pencils. This ended up looking a lot like my mother instead of me. <laughs> Down, Nella. And then this is me practicing with ink. These are Revna objects. So here we have a nore, which is a device used to help heat up places. This is me trying to do environmental sketches. And then I was watching My Hero Academia and I just loved the animation style and so I tried mimicking it. And I tried drawing Cassandra, but it didn't turn out well. There's Hawks from My Hero Academia. And then this is Cade and Zara's younger brother, Adrian. And I tried drawing an action pose with like a short name, but it didn't work out so well. And then this is also the My Hero Academia style. We have Anarion, Guts, and then we have Sansa and Harrion. I love how Harrion turned out, but honestly, whenever I draw Harrion, I'm always surprised at how good I draw her and how pretty she turns out, but <laughs> I get surprised every single time. 
This is a doodle suggestion page that I didn't finish. <laughs> so I drew Zara and a cinnamon apple spread with nutty bread. I love brown bread that's that has nuts in it and oh, it just tastes so good. And here we have a map from the same story I wrote. This is like the first story that I ever wrote called Darina. And I did like a couple maps. Wait, I'll show you. So here's one of the maps that I have stuck on my room's wall. And so this is like kind of like a little character that I did for the map. I have the map on Patreon with like a whole process on how I made it. It's, oh my god. It took hours and hours and hours and so much trial and error to get the map right. And I ended up drawing her on the side of the map. And so um, this is just me drawing her again. And this is Cassandra. And this is Yoshaya's um, necklace, which he gives to her later in the story. <laughs> and then Cassandra again with a little experimentation, which didn't turn out that good, but it's pretty. And then this is this character with a little bit of metallic Pasca pens on the side. Very pretty. I love drawing these kind of vines. And this was me experimenting again. Uh, this is one of the Greek goddesses, Demeter. I'm not sure. And then um, the sketchbook started tearing at this point. So I had to go in with tape and stick it in. So this is um, her grandmother. So Ivera's mother her grandmother which is her mother <laughs> it's so oh my gosh there's so many characters and then this is another character Rehan here's another poem from the book which I decorated with lovely vines while listening to an audiobook again <laughs> and then this is um, a Chinese dragon turned out pretty pretty okay. Um, it's the other half of this one. This is Cassandra, which I didn't finish. And then this is the back cover, which popped off. It was here. It is um, more Rav Ravanian objects. These are Cade's rings. These give him special abilities. This is another ring, which is not incorporated into the story just yet, but I wanted to nail down the design. This is Ivera's um, earrings, which she got from her mother. This is a nore, which I drew. It gives heat. This is called an ackle. It allows you to transport letters. This is a chain. Fira crystal. Fira is magic in the Rivanian world. And then this is um, portal fluid. So portal fluid is exactly what it is. It allows you to create portals which send you to different places. It's really, really cool. Um, here we have Cassandra and Yoshaya again. And then I try to do more environmental sketches. Never ever finished them. I drew in little swirlies, but you can't really see it. It's so sad. I spent so long doing it. This is the other dragon. Unfinished pages. In this sketchbook, I wasn't scared to be pretty because I always think about videoing my sketchbook pages and posting it onto YouTube and so I'm like, oh my god, it needs to be pretty, it needs to be finished. I didn't do that for the sketchbook. This is a little comic page between Ivera and Cade. Here's iconic earrings. And then I was supposed to do another comic here, but I didn't end up finishing. And then this is uh, Baby Zara their dragon and Adrian when he was a baby and then this is their uncle who take, takes care of them and then this is another comic and then this was me I was making a clay dragon and so I was um, planning it was me when I was on holiday and I ended up sketching while watching a Ghibli movie Ghibli movie Ghibli <laughs> This one here I left because I was looking for my 
metallic watercolor and i found it today i was so surprised it was in my wardrobe I'm not sure if i'm ever gonna finish this it's supposed to be the phases of the moon and i was gonna go in with like gold or silver and really make it pretty like the night sky but i en ended up scrapping that this is just an experimental page my friend sent me a picture of her sketchbook and she had these kisses on her page and i was like oh my god that looks so so gorgeous hers is way better than mine this is mine my attempt that is and then i just added like a whole lot of hearts this is a little comic between Ivera, and then this is my favorite page in the entire sketchbook it's cassandra using her power i love everything about it i love the simplicity of this sketch but also how the background makes it pop and the foreshortening oh my god and everything is perfect and then i have these like star stickers for your nails i don't paint my nails too often like this is even peel off nail polish i don't i don't use it so i had the brilliant idea of sticking it on the page and it came out amazing i really love that and this is um cassandra and yashaya and another sketch of Ivera and the dragon that I didn't finish. Oh, I guess it's a spoiler. This is the um, title for the book, The Land for Cigar, which I have written like 10,000 words for it. But um, I stopped writing it in January, I think, or maybe, no, 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 I stopped writing it last year sometime. And I was like, I just want to do Ivera and Kate's story and finish it before I do any other things. And so Sigara is Ivera's mom, but it's a different story. And I'm not sure who this is, actually. It might have been Sigara's husband, so Ivera's dad, but I don't know. This is Harian. As I said, I don't draw her very often, but when I do, she comes out perfect. I just love this page so much. This is... Um, an anime that I saw and it was a really cute scene to an artist on Instagram with this pose and I just I really really loved the dynamic pose so I drew it this is where I was supposed to stick all of the characters I drew every single character in my book um, right here there are a lot of characters and I drew them all but um, I didn't get to stick them. Oh, well, some. I drew most of them. <laughs> I was gonna draw something here, but then I just, I really love the border, so I left it. This is an owl. They're my favorite animal. I love owls and red pandas. I love them. I, oh my gosh, they're so cute and cuddly. And, mm, I could squeeze them. There's another environmental sketch to mirror the first one that I did here. But that's watercolor. <laughs> I don't know if there's improvement with Ivera. My favorite artist. He's amazing. I saw her do a similar pose to this. There we go. Inspo. And then this is Riza. Done in ink and watercolor. With a bit of metallic Posca pens. And then this is mm, probably my favorite four pages. Here we have Harry and Sansa. And then an Arion and Guts. Oh, I just love how these came out. I used my mother's pens for these and I wasn't expecting it to be that good. I was drawing it while I was watching the Barbie movie actually. And so these are just like mindless character sketches and i ended up sticking it in yeah and that is the end i wrote a little note to myself there i always leave a few blank pages at the end of my sketchbooks that's it <laughs> i've never finished a sketchbook in such a short time this is my seventh I have a little theme of black and pink going on with accents of other colors and gold. <laughs> this was actually a blue sketchbook. I inked the entire thing in black. I, to make it all shiny, I put 
clear glue on it. I really love how it turned out. So thank you for watching. I hope to see you again. Bye!